The DataVideo PTC300 and PTC280 are new 4K PTZ cameras from DataVideo. The main difference between the two is that the PTC300 has a 20x optical zoom, while the PTC280 has a 12x optical zoom. The menu settings for both cameras are exactly the same. And in this video, you will learn how to set exposure, white balance, as well as the basics of all the camera settings. Let's get started. On screen, we have some talent that was kind enough to let us film them during rehearsals. Press the menu button on your remote control to access the menu OSD. And let's start with exposure. Exposure has five modes. Manual exposure allows you to change the iris, shutter, and gain, which is a lot like the ISO on a DSLR or mirrorless camera. The lower the iris, the more light that comes into the lens. This lens has a minimum aperture of f1.8. The shutter speed adjusts the amount of time the camera takes in light for each frame. Shutter speed should be at least double your frame rate. I'm shooting at 60 frames per second, so I have the shutter speed at 1 over 125. If shooting at 30 frames per second, you can set it to 1 over 60. SAE mode sets shutter speed as the priority, meaning that the shutter speed will stay the same and the iris will be on automatic to get the best results. The gain will also be automatic and you can set the gain limit higher to get a brighter picture if it's too dark. AAE mode sets the aperture or iris to a fixed setting, gives that priority, and then adjusts the shutter speed on automatic as well as the gain up to the limit that you set. Auto will set everything on full auto and the gain up to the limit that you set. In my scene here, since the TV monitors on set were bright, they were causing my talent to be underexposed when the camera was on full auto, which happens sometimes, so that's why we have the option for full manual control. I can adjust the gain to increase the exposure until my image is bright and clear. Under color, we will find adjustments for white balance. Auto will automatically adjust the white balance of your scene. Indoor will set the white balance to tungsten light. Outdoor will set the white balance to 6500K for daylight. One push will set the white balance to any white currently on screen when you press the OK button and lock on that setting. Manual is for you hardcore videographers out there that want to paint the different color channels for a custom setting. And finally, variable will let you customize your white balance in Kelvin to your light source. So if the lights on your kit are set to 5500K, like mine are in this set, I can see if that works the best. However, also notice how auto and one push were basically the same as variable on my set, meaning they did a good job estimating what white balance should be set. You can also change the hue and white balance sensitivity. I found leaving these at the default settings shown here worked out the best. Next, under image, you can adjust the luminance, contrast, sharpness, gamma, and style. I found they are all best at default, but you can adjust to your preferences. The flip options for horizontal and vertical should only be turned on when you mount the camera upside down. Under PTZ, you can fine tune your settings for zoom speed, autofocus sensitivity, and other advanced settings. In noise reduction, you can lower the amount of noise in your image from higher gain settings at the cost of image sharpness and color accuracy. In setup, you can set the language and video format. The PTC280 supports 720p, 1080i, 1080p, and 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second. Here, you can also enable your firmware upgrade when a USB stick is inserted with a firmware update file, which you can download on the Data Video website. Don't forget to like us on all our social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.